Hello everyone, I hope you guys are well wherever you guys are in the world. Thank you for coming back to my channel for this review. And today I'm going to give you guys just a quick review of NECA's new Godzilla, or new release actually, the 1984 uh, Godzilla NECA figure. Okay, well, which is a uh, 2.0 figure. I didn't bother getting uh, the first figure that released because I wasn't impressed with the uh, with these still images when uh, when that guy released. But um, when I saw this guy, um, the promotional images, I was I was convinced uh, to to pick this guy up. And uh, the the '84 Godzilla, um, I have fond memories of that Godzilla. Um, growing up as a kid, I mean that was like the third Godzilla film that I watched. And um, when I saw this figure getting re-released, and uh, I saw like the improvements on the uh, dorsal fins and uh, on the hands, and you know the paint and everything, I was like, okay, I'll give this tr this figure a try. Okay, now one of the big things that really uh, got my attention was the box. I mean, I, I love this uh, this box art. Like all the the box art that uh, NECA has been uh, you know pumping out with these uh, figures have been has been phenomenal I mean the box is part of the purchase well part you know a uh, part of owning this figure I mean it's an art piece okay now I know that that's the original figure that's not this guy because you can tell from the dorsal fins but who cares anyways it's a beautiful box all right now let me show you guys uh, the other boxes just so to, to put them together if you guys uh, haven't picked up any of the other ones just to give you guys an idea what I mean Look at that, eh? Just beautiful. Okay, now, so, with the figure itself, um, it's got good range of articulation on the head. Okay, the, um, the mouth, okay? The eyes is painted, uh, the, the eyes are painted uh, nicely, in my opinion. Um, the teeth could be uh, a little bit improved, okay, like the, there's a little bit of uh, red paint on certain parts here and there, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so you do got good uh, range of articulation, and the hands, okay. Now I know that the, the, the old NECA uh, Godzilla of this guy, he you couldn't do this with his hands, but you can with this guy. And... You can't get much out of his legs, but that's fine. And the, uh, you know, the tail still has like a, has a bendy wire. Okay, which is a leftover design from, uh, from, pre from the previous generation. And much improved uh, dorsal fins for this guy. Still under, undersized in my opinion, but it's better than what we had before. It's got three rows of dorsal fins. But I still like it. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring out the other NECA figures that uh, NECA has released just to give them a little bit of a size comparison. Alrighty, so. Let me just move the camera a little bit like that. And GMK. So. Now, I think out of all these guys, I still think uh, the 64 Godzilla is my favorite of, uh, of all these guys. Then um, the 62. I really like the 62. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I just want to give you guys uh, just my input on, uh, on the latest release uh, for NECA. Um, NECA did announce that there will, they will be... Um, you know, they will be revealing somewhere down the line two new Godzilla figures that have not been uh, revealed. And then they're going to take a hiatus because, uh, you know, Playmates Toys has, uh, you know, the the rights to, uh, God, you know, Godzilla versus Kong. Unfortunately, I wish uh, NECA would have uh, had the license for that. 
But in any case, I'm gonna show you guys, in closing this video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, toy photography that I did with this guy. So, um, so yeah, guys, all right? So um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, and I will leave you guys with my toy photography. If you guys have any questions uh, about how I did the shots, as always, please leave it in the, co in the comment section below. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.